like as much as you. Is that too much to ask? I hate everyone but you. There's some pretty bad dates in this movie. So I know that you're married now, but let's go back to your late teens, early 20s. Worst date experience ever. You have so many. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> A guy telling me he could get me a job at a strip club and um, then telling me I should come home with him because his mother would cook me breakfast in the morning. That's Just romantic. Wrong. I can't say I've ever gone on a date that I liked. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to top her story. Yeah, that, like I can't <laughs> imagine somebody just saying something so... Oh, I have so many. Oh, I just remembered one. I, when I was like a teenager, somebody that I worked with like was like, let me set you up with my son. And it was like a never ending date. Like he took me out to dinner, then bowling, then a movie, then like on a walk and then like to their house. I mean, we're 14. And then he ended up going to like military school or something and then writing me like, you're, you're ugly. Like, you know, screw you. And like saying all these mean things. And then years later being like, I'm really sorry. That was not nice. Yeah. Well, that was good at least. Yeah. This is so you. Oh, it's cute, but can you really wear a jumper after 30? What are you talking about? We're not even 29. You guys really freak out about turning 30, being 29. This is so cute. What's happening right now? What is it about this age that makes us freak out? Society alone. I feel zero pressure, but society is like, it's time. It's time to get your act together. I feel like there are certain things I can't do anymore, like sit on the floor at airports. I still do that. Oh, I still do it. I just feel like everybody's looking at me like, that woman is too old to be sitting around the floor. It's some sort of artificial marker in your head of that's when you're really supposed to be an adult. It's kind of okay to still be uh, messed up in your 20s and sort of be a mess, but by the time you're 30, you're supposed to have it all figured out. And then you're like, oh wait, I still don't. <laughs> that's I don't okay. Think the secret is no one has it figured out. Exactly. <laughs> I got a cake mix, I got a bottle of scotch, and a really weird jewelry making kit. So what are we doing first? This movie, so cute. I love the friendship between Paige and Sasha. Kind of talk to me about who in your real life pulls you out of those bad moods, those bad days when you guys have them. I have two friends that I've known since middle school that are just the best people ever yeah. and who like just get me and just think that I'm the biggest loser ever and like it's fine and um yeah okay I don't know I'm just happy even talking about them yeah. and that's why I like this movie because it's about friendship real friendship being there I have a friend named Richard shout out to Richard shout out to Richard um unlike this movie it is a, a friendship between a, a straight woman and a straight man and it's a it's a platonic friendship but he is a straight up goofball okay. and will really make me laugh and sometimes when I'm feeling down I don't call him and then he texts me incessantly until I give him a call, so. I do that with my friends. You do? I text incessantly. Yeah. Emojis, capital letters. Weird pictures, you know. stuff yeah. you found on Buzzfeed. Memes. Yeah. I, I get it. Do I look too much like a lesbian? You are a lesbian. Yeah, but I don't want to look. Okay. You're like offensive to yourself. Okay, psycho. We're going anywhere. We're still the only ones who think we're funny. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>